Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another uh, ship with me video and hopefully you guys have been enjoying the past ones. I'm going to get started already because <laughs> there's not a lot of time in this video. Um, I just showed you a wrap sweater which was new without tags from Charter Club that I got at the bins. So it probably cost me like around a dollar. Um, so I sold this for $15. The Poshmark fees were $3. There was no shipping discount and net earnings were $12. And that means minus the dollar around that it cost me, I ended up making a profit of $11. Um, as you can see, got my little guy in the background again. That's the best way to keep them busy while I'm doing this kind of stuff. And more laundry on my couch, guys. I, I swear we actually use the couch to sit on at some point. It's just, you know, as some other people say, you know, they have a laundry day. I don't have a laundry day. Every day is laundry day when you have seven people in a house. And that's just how it works. So it's basically just an ongoing issue, guys. All right, so here's another piece. These are some Sam Edelman sandals. They have this zebra calf hair print on the backside. And that's basically what I called them. They're actually the Giada zebra calf hair sandals. They were a size nine. Um, they were my size. I really liked them. They were super cute, but I'm not like a fancy person to be perfectly honest. And so I ended up um, not keeping them and they actually sold before I could even put them into my garage for inventory. So these sold for $29 um, actual asking price, I believe. No, actually I had them listed at 35 and then somebody liked them. I sent an offer. No, they sent an offer. <laughs> I'm mixed up, guys. They sent me an offer for $29. They were listed at $35. I took that offer. My Poshmark fees were $5.80. I know, holy crap, right? Seriously. So my net earnings. Oh, yachty, guys. So sorry. My net earnings were $23.20, and I believe they cost me $4. I can't remember if I got these at the bins or not, guys. So I probably made a profit of around $19.20. They were sold on February 22nd. I was really happy with that sale because I made a good profit off of those, especially considering how much they ended up costing me. And as you can see, I have these little pink thermal stickers. And I'm moving on to another day. <laughs> you see me talking to the little boys. I'm in my exercise clothes still, so don't mind that. Um, still laundry in the background that it's a constant work in progress. And the littlest man running around. All right, here are some hokas. These are the first pair of hokas I have ever found out in the wild guys that were not super expensive i got these at di they cost me 15 dollars, and i wasn't sure because of the fact that um the suggested price when i listed them on poshmark was like 40 bucks and i was like that can't be right and so i did a little bit more research for some reason and i listed them ended up listing them at 79 dollars I had them for, I think it was three or four weeks when someone purchased them for full asking price. They only had like the tiniest bit of wear on them guys. And so I was like literally ecstatic when they ended up buying those. So they purchased them for $79. Poshmark fees were $15.80. Net earnings were $63.20 20 cents minus the $15 that I paid for these. So that's what 53, $48 and 20 cents. Hopefully I'm doing the math right guys. 
So $48.20 is a pretty awesome profit. And there's my littlest guy, Owen, sharing his newest Lego <laughs> with everybody. My uh, family is a big Lego family. They have a giant underbed bin that's nothing but Legos. And seriously, that's only half of the amount that we've purchased because we left the other half that we didn't have room for in Texas when we moved to Utah. So <laughs> isn't he cute? He's my little baby. He's the caboose baby. All right. So next pair. These are some Piccolinos. P-I-K-O-L-I-N-O-S. I love these shoes. They are super cute. I love the vintage feel that Piccolinos has. These ended up selling for $38. I've had these for quite a while. It's a really good brand. They do sell sometimes certain styles just take a little while longer to sell. Yes, he's a little goofball. <laughs> he's just sitting there sharing everybody with you guys. I think he likes watching himself on the camera. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so they sold for $38 full asking price. Poshmark fees were $7.60, and my net earnings were $30.40. I believe I got these ones at the bin, so they probably cost me a couple of dollars. So that means I made around $28.40 for this pair of shoes, which is a great, great profit for something that was that cheap. Um, and I was shocked that they had very little wear on them because as much as things get banged around at the bins, you'd think they'd get more. Um, and Owen's showing you his little bag from Valentine's Day. He's pretty proud of that. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest? He's my little caboose baby. He was a month late, or he was a month early is what I meant. And uh, he was sideways when I went into labor with him guys so he was an emergency c-section um, and then when they went to uh, they put me under they went to take him out um, my water broke and they actually it actually turned him uh, breech and as right after that happened the turning it turned him breech and he had the cord wrapped around his neck three times so as he was coming out it was strangling him so if they would have waited 10 more seconds, he would have either had brain damage or it would have um, strangled him. So he is our little miracle, and um, he makes me happy every day, even when he's a grumpy pants. So, and he's sharing everybody, he's sharing his sucker with all of you. So, anyway. All right, on to the next piece. Let's see what else we've got. I got a lot of shoes in this section. I only got a couple of sales the other day and so I figured I'd do a two different ones videos. All right these are gentle souls. I did get these at uh, the DI at Desert Industries and um, they I believe were four or five dollars. I can't quite remember which one. I'm trying to look them up on my phone as I'm doing this guys. Oh, these took a while for me to find because I had put them in the wrong spot. So, okay, these sold for $25 um, when I sent an offer. They were listed at $35. Someone had liked them. I'd had them for a little while. So I sent an offer for $25 with a, a shipping discount. So the Poshmark fees were $5, shipping discount was $1.50, net earnings were $18.50. So since they cost me $5, I made a personal profit of $13.50 off of that specific pair. And I have been finding them ever since. I found uh, the, a pair of Gentle Souls two other times since then. Okay, so this next piece is uh, by Isa and Ella. It's a black crop love spell out sweatshirt, size medium. Um, have, I've had this one for quite a while and um, when I have something for over a couple of months, I just start doing 50% off discounts lately and, and do offers that way. So I went ahead and did that. So I sent an offer for $12 on this specific piece 
and um, oh, someone offered me $12 because there's no uh, shipping discount on this one. So they offered $12. I went ahead and accepted. Poshmark fees were $2.95. My net earnings were $9.05. And since this was a piece that I picked up from the Goodwill outlet or the bins, probably cost me around a dollar. So I'd say my profit was about $8.05. So not too bad considering I probably had this for mm, maybe six months, maybe less. I'm not positive on that one. And next we have a vintage piece, which I don't find super amazing ones very often, but Sometimes you just find some amazing ones like in one of my next hauls that I'm going to show you guys I found a really cool 70s jacket that you guys are going to think is just the coolest thing ever because I do and it's perfect So this one was one I found at the bins. It has that really cool like 70s colors like um herringbone kind of pattern it's in great shape the only thing that was missing was basically just the maker's tag and um, the material tag in the bottom but you could tell it was like a cotton mostly if it wasn't just cotton it was a cotton blend this one actually sold for full asking price of $25 and my Poshmark fees were five dollars and that made my net earnings twenty dollars and it probably cost me a dollar or less honestly so i'd say my um profits were nineteen dollars on this awesome vintage 70s shirt and i'm really hoping that someone's digging that one it was groovy all right next is a little boy's adidas jacket just like a little zip up full zip running jacket this one i've had for a little while and i don't ask as much from the kids items as i do from like the adult items this was in perfect condition though and it ended up selling for twelve dollars i think i had it listed at like 18 or something someone offered 12 and uh i accepted it Poshmark fees were $2.95. My net earnings were $9.05. And it probably cost me, I don't know, since it was at the bins, like 50 cents. So probably pop profited around $8.55, which isn't too bad on something that costs under a dollar. So I was pretty happy with that and I'm glad that it's going to somebody that will really enjoy it. I knew it would end up fitting my littlest guy most likely, maybe a tiny bit big, but it would just end up being shoved in his closet. So anyway, <laughs> um, all right. So next we have, I think those are the Banana Republic jeans. Sorry, I didn't show those real well. Uh, let's see. Nope, those are the Rock and Roll Denim. Nope. They are the, yeah, they are the Banana Republic ones, guys. I'm out of it today. I'm so sorry. So I've had these ones for a while. Um, they did have a little bit of wear on them. And so I decided to send out an offer when someone liked them just to kind of keep things moving in my closet. Because the more sales you get, the more sales you get, if you know what I mean. So I sent out an offer for $9.00. The Poshmark fees were $2.95. Shipping discount was $1.50, and they probably cost me two bucks. So, unfortunately, I only made $2.55, which is fine. Um, I still made a profit, and that's a good thing. They were struggling trying to fit into this envelope. I should have folded them a little bit more snug, to be honest, but... What are you going to do? So you'll see me in just a minute grabbing the last item out of the bag so that I can uh, ship that out. And then I pull something else out. Yeah, that's that's a container of little mini chocolate chip cookies from Costco. <laughs> because I forgot that I had put them in the bag underneath everything else. And uh, oh, goodness. 
so sorry. Too tired today. I am just yawning like crazy. And I'm tired of, of trying to edit them out. So I'm not editing out any of my yawns anymore, guys. <laughs> You're just going to have to deal with them. I'm not sleeping real well lately. So anyway, that jacket you guys just saw is by a company called Dravis, D-R-A-V-U-S. I picked that up at the bins. It does have a fair amount of wear on it, but because it has the faux shearling on the inside and it's a men's, I figured it would be a great piece to try and sell. Um, it doesn't have as good of a resale value as I anticipated because of the kind of piece it is. And uh, so I just... Oh. So sorry. So I went ahead and took an offer. Sorry if I made you guys yawn. <laughs> it's not my intention. Anyway, I took an offer of $19. I had listed it at $28 and I only had it for literally like a few days when someone sent me an offer and I was like, hey, why not? Probably only cost me a couple of bucks. It is kind of bulky, but it's honestly not as heavy as you would think it is. Um, and I did use one of my tall boot boxes because of how bulky it was. I figured it would fit in there really good, and it did. And usually I just put a, one piece of brown paper in there, kind of offset, wrap it around it, put some tape on it, and then pack it up, guys. So since this sold for $19, um, my Poshmark fees were $3.00. <clears throat> $3 80 cents and actually it looks like I did send an offer someone didn't send me one so there was a shipping discount of a dollar and fifty cents net earnings were thirteen dollars and seventy cents so that means my profit was around eleven dollars and seventy cents for this specific jacket so thanks for shipping with me today guys I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative for you I love doing these and sharing everything that sells. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell notification. And don't forget to like this video on your way out and watch some more of these awesome videos. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.